Okay, uh, this is for a viewer. I haven't done very many Blender videos recently and I get questions regarding importing models a lot so I thought I'd just touch on this real quick since it's been a while and I think my last video was probably an older version of Blender. So just for the record I'm running Blender 2.75 right here. So here's the default scene. I'm going to delete the default cube and now you can either um, go up to file and go to import and select the type of file model you want to import. Uh, we want to import one of these uh, DAE files so I can actually just hovering over the 3D view hit spacebar and type in um, C-O-L-L and choose to import one of those and then I'm going to go to where my model is which is in my temp folder for now. So we're going to look at two models. Here's a model of Yoshi that uh, a viewer asked me to have a look at. So I'm going to say import. First off, first off, this model is rather large. Before clicking anything, the entire model, which has different parts to it, is all selected. So I'm going to hit S and I'm just going to scale it down. And I'm also going to, while hovering over the 3D view, hit zero on my number pad, which should bring you to the camera view. Make sure he's in view there. And I'll actually even grab my camera and move it a little bit. Now if I hit F12, you can see he has his skins, his textures on, but uh, the lighting isn't quite right. Now, um, most people nowadays use Cycles render Renderer. I haven't even really messed with that very much at all. I still use the old Blender Renderer, so people are going to give me a hard time about that. It works for me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the World tab here, and I'm going to choose Ambient Occlusion and change this to Multiply and environment lighting. And now if I hit F12, you can see the lighting looks much better, but his eyes are messed up. The reason for this is um, this type of models, these uh, DAE files, are usually for, used for gaming. And I'll give you a better example here in a moment. Um, but it actually has different animations and frames in there, in this particular case, not always, that are actually separate files. So actually if I click on the eyes here and hit delete, oops, the wrong part of the eyes, delete and delete. Now if I hit F12, you can see it's better. And that's because the, the default Blender renderer does not like when two um, objects or planes are directly over top of each other. You get that mess up because it doesn't know which one to render. And that's what was happening here. So there we go. We have uh, Yoshi here with his tongue sticking out. I can also hit spacebar and type in plane and add a plane. And while it's selected, I'm going to hit S and type in 10 to make it a little bit larger and hit enter. And if I hit F12 now, we have a plane that shows a little bit more of the shadowing uh, of Yoshi here. Now I'm going to hit uh, control N hit enter to start a new file again delete the default cube and I'm going to do the same thing as before I'm going to say to import one of those files I am going to go to a folder I have here called Mario and again the same type of file and I'll click on here zero to go in my camera view and again move my camera a little bit so I can get a better view of him and this shows you a little bit better of an example of what I was talking about look at his hands here there's actually multiple positions of his hands now it seems like uh, whoever made these models instead of using rigs to move the fingers they actually made different key frames and different models for the hands and if I actually go to my file browser here this is the uh, DAE file that we have, but it's actually using all these other files to create it. And you can see there's multiple ones named face and multiple ones named eyelid and hands left and right. And so if we hit F12, again, we're having the same issue. So first thing I do, I'm going to hit escape here. I'm going to go to my world tab here, choose ambient occlusion, multiply environment lighting on F12 looking better, but you can see his face and his hands because there's multiple models in the same space we're getting that funky texture there. So uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, you know whether you want his hands open or closed delete all the other models or at least hide them. So what I'm just going to do here I'm just going to hit select and hit delete 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 until there's they're all gone and then I'll hit control Z to undo the last one and I'll do the same thing over here. And uh, you won't have to always do this. It's just the way this particular model was set up um, that they're using multiple models for the hands rather than keyframes and bones to move them around. Although Yoshi looked like he had some bones. So if I have 12 here, his face is still kind of a little messed up. I'm going to delete his eyelids here. 
Well, I guess I'll delete some of the faces first. So he's got multiple faces. I'm assuming there's different facial expressions if I actually look at them. But I'm just going to keep on deleting until they're all gone and then hit Control-Z to undo the last one. Hit F12. He's kind of sleepy looking there. I'm going to delete the upper eyelid and hit F12. And there we go. We have Mario. Again, I'll hit uh, spacebar and type in plane. I'll add a plane and scale it 10 times and hit F12. And uh, if you want to make it look real nice, we can change our background here to white, which sets our background backgrounds white. And the plane's white, but the plane has shading on it, so you can still see where the plane is. Now, if you want that um, view of just infinite white, and there's different ways to do it depending on what you're doing. But the way I normally do it is with the plane selected, I'll go over here to its textures tab. I'll add a, I'm sorry, the material tab, add a material, and I'll scroll down to where it says shadow. And here I'll say shadows only. So it won't re render the plane other than where shadows are hitting it. And if I hit F12 now, you have that infinite white. And you still have some shadowing around his feet there. Um, rather than if, if we didn't have that plane there, there would be no shadowing there. In fact, I'll show you, I'll hit delete and hit F12. And you can see his feet are completely surrounded by white now, which you can do. Uh, but if I bring that plane back in by hitting Control Z to undo and hit F12, you can see there's some shadowing around his feet. And depending on how you set up your lightings, you can get more shadowing or less shadowing. And if you look, uh, it's kind of pixeled right here, but you can see uh, the shadow isn't very smooth. You can adjust that. Um, by again going to the world tab and here where we have samples you turn that up it will slow down your rendering but I'll turn it up to like 20 and hit F12 and you can see it's rendering a little bit slower but your shadows will start becoming smoother as you do that so just mess with it till you get it how you like but there we go that's importing models and some of the issues you may reach again when you download a model make sure that if it comes in a zip file you put everything from the zip file in one folder when you import it to make sure that it imports the textures and models properly um, besides that blender by default imports many if we go here to import of your basic models and there's different plugins for other models as well but really uh, uh, OBJ, 3DS, and DAE are probably your most common you're going to be importing. Some people will try to import 3D Max. Now, if we do 3DS here, um, that's a 3D Studio Max model. People get confused. The 3D Max files that I believe, it's been a long time, but they end in .max, .max is not a model file. It's a full scene. Uh, and Blender cannot import those. What you need to do is open up that in um, 3D Studio Max and then export the models. It's just like uh, here we're working, we save a Blender, we save them as blend files. Those aren't model files, they're scene files. There's a lot more to them. So I hope I address some issues you may have if you're trying to import models. Um, scaling is a big thing. Lots of times when you import a model, it might be really small so you don't see it or it might be so big that you need to back up to see it so just scale things until they look appropriate for your scene and again make sure your textures are in the proper folders so that they find them and you don't have to go and manually link them all so again thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you visit filmsbychris.com that's Chris with a K there's a link in the description and I hope that you have a great day Okay, this is an introduction to FilmsByChris.com. I'm Chris, that's Chris the K. That's me right there. My daughter Ember, and my wife Jennifer. We pretty much live in the swamps of Florida. I'm a firefighter by day, as well as by night. We work long hours. But that's not why you're here. You're here about the videos I put up on YouTube. These videos are mainly about computers and programming, which means most of my videos look something like this. And if that's what you're interested in, great. If not, that's alright. I do videos on other topics too, such as video editing, special effects, photo editing, 3D design, and music creation. If you are one of my viewers and you enjoy my videos, my Patreon page is a place where you can go to help support my videos. 
So I ask that you take the time to go to my Patreon page and look at the different levels of rewards you can receive for different levels of backing. There should be a link in the description of this video if you are watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, you can visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And I thank you for your time and your support. Have a great day.